Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is episode two of the Absolute Beginners course in Affinity Photo. We're going one step at a time, very, very carefully, and showing you how you can make your pictures better. So, but I know that you want to be able to do it. You don't want to sit and watch lots of videos before you can actually have something to show for having watched the videos. So we're going to do something today where you're going to end up, you will have edited a picture and you end up, you will have a saved picture that you can show to other people and say, look, are my picture's now better. So what we do is, as in the first episode, we simply click on File and we click on Open. And this is like the Windows Explorer on the Mac, you'll have something similar. And we navigate through this to find the image we want. And we can click on that. I can click on Open. And I can also double click it. I'm expecting this, by the way, to be a JPG file. If you happen to have one which is called RAW, then it'll be slightly different. And I'll come back to those in another video. But for now, make sure it's a JPEG video like this, sorry, JPEG image, and double click on it and it'll appear here. Now then, all you need to do, ignore most around here, because these four buttons here are all you're going to use to edit this. And if I click on these, or just hover for the moment, let's look what I say. If hover it says auto levels, auto contrast, auto colors, and auto white balance. Levels kind of tidies it up a bit. We'll explain that more another day. Contrast just makes the darks a bit darker and the lights a bit lighter. Colors fixes dull colors. And white balance, make sure whites are white. So even though the wall of that house over there looks white, it probably isn't, and this will fix that. So if I click on the first one, you can see immediately on the levels, that's immediately made it look a lot better already. I can undo this, so I can go to Edit and Undo, or use Control z The next one, Auto Contrast, makes the darks darker and the lights lighter. And again, that also makes it better. So I'll hit Control z there. When I do the colours, now you can see it becomes just more colourful. It really, you know, all the colours stand out, makes it a lot brighter. Looks like more like a sunny day. And the last one, white balance. Watch what happens carefully to this and watch that white wall there. See, it's now gone a lot warmer and that's actually a bit more whiter than it was before. So there we go, let's control Z. And what you do, the easiest thing you can do is to simply click all of them. So just go click, 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 click. And there you've got a much improved picture. Very, very easily. And you can try various ways of, should I do this one first or that one? Experiment with that. But it's so, so easy to do it. And I've got friends, this is all they do. And it improves all their pictures very, very easily. So what I'm going to do as well now is that if I say file and save, then it'll save it back to the original file. You can do that if you like, but you'll lose your original file. And years later, you might want to come back because you'll learn more about photo editing and might want to edit the original. So I try not to change the original, I always save it to something else. However, don't use save as here because if you click save as here, you see it says .af photo here, we don't want to save it like that. If I click on this, that's all you've got. You haven't got anything else you can use. So how do you save it back as a JPEG file? And the way to do that is go to File, Export, down here. If I click on that, you can actually save it in all kinds of things, but just do the JPEG. For now, don't worry about this. Just leave it as it is and click Export. And then it'll show you back to the original folder you're in. And you can rename this, I'm going to call this after. And now I've saved that and I can show people, I can say, look, here's what it was before, because I've still got the before file and here's what it was after. I fixed it, I did some photo editing. So there you go. Very, very easy. You can now edit your photos and make them easier just by clicking these four here. And do remember to experiment with one or the other and try different sequences and so on. But that's it and thank you very much for watching.